All right, 42 <laughs> degrees right now in Raleigh as we look live outside the triangle. 41 in Wake Forest, 40 in Chapel Hill. There's that soccer field in Cary. Uh, as you see, 44 degrees with sunshine and blue skies. Love that shot, especially this time of year in the uh, late afternoon, evening, because you can watch the sun actually just go right down. But we got a while to get there and enjoy the sunshine today, albeit on the cool side of things. It's 45 in Roanoke Rapids and Rocky Mount, 48 in Goldsboro and Fayetteville and Rayford, 43 in Sanford, 39 in South Hill, Virginia. It was 39 a little earlier in uh, Roxborough, but you're at 41 degrees right now. It's just a chilly morning. Winds, yeah, calm from Siler City, Sanford and Dunn. So, uh, we saw some pictures in Sanford earlier today with a, a breeze out there about 10 miles per hour, but they've died out. But see, it's blowing at 17 in Fayetteville and down to about 5 in Raleigh. So we'll see 5 to 15 mile per hour winds this morning and midday before they completely go calm for everybody tonight. So we've got clear skies right now, 8 o'clock temperatures in the 40s, 48 at 10 o'clock, 52 at noon, 55 at 2, 58 at 4 o'clock, 54 at 6, and 47 at 8 with sunshine until the sun sets at 632 tonight. 60 degrees will be the high in Rayford, 61 in Fort Bragg, 62 in Fayetteville, still well below normal, but a little milder than 58 in Sanford and 59 in Lillington. Northwest winds, we mentioned those. Bright and, so I call it bright and brisk today. 57 Roanoke Rapids, 59 Smithfield and Goldsboro. And then we've got 57 in Durham and Lewisburg, 58 Raleigh and Cary, 56 in Chapel Hill. Look at the low temperature map. This this will make beer shells shiver. 30s, the blue, deep blue 30s coming over most of us. Maybe a couple outlying 40s, uh, especially along the coast. And because of this forecast and because the winds will be light, uh, we could produce some frost on uh, the, the ground. Even though the air temperature will probably be mid-30s for lows, ground objects, including plants and tender vegetation could hit some frost. So frost advisory is up for Monday morning. It includes the entire viewing area except for Wayne, Sampson, and Cumberland counties. But for those three counties, it's still going to be cold in the morning. We've got a northwest flow today from this high pressure system, which will then just park itself right over us tonight, giving us the coldest night of the week uh, with those mid 30s and light winds. And then the winds, uh, the high backs off, and we pick up a little south southwesterly component because remember the air goes clockwise around to high, and that'll bring in milder air late Monday and into Tuesday. It won't be as cold tomorrow night as it will be tonight. And then this secondary cold front is dry as a bone, but it'll come through. And then this high will take over, guess what, with some more cool air air and a flow out of the north west. So your forecast then for today, 58 degrees in sunshine, low of 36 tonight, some frost then obviously possible tomorrow morning. Otherwise, I think that's a nice afternoon, Monday 64, Tuesday 70 degrees, there's your heat wave, and then uh, Wednesday 64 degrees, and then as we get a little cooler, Thursday and Friday, upper 50s, and maybe a shower on Friday, increasing clouds, mostly cloudy Saturday. As, as I mentioned earlier, a couple models trying to bring rain in Friday, a couple other ones trying to hold it off to Saturday. So I did what a good meteorologist would do. I split the difference and said there might be a shower on Friday, but definitely on Saturday too.